Mike from OIQ here, and now we're going to part three of our project A86. In our last installment, we did a bunch of suspension stuff, but to make the suspension work, we have to stiffen the chassis so we can uh, take advantage of our more modern uh, coilovers that we're going to get. The A86 was designed in the early 80s, and this was way before um, crash standards were very stringent and way before um, even a lot of the dynamics of suspension were well understood. Now we know that the rigid uh, chassis really helps your suspension, helps your tuning, uh, enables you to run higher rates and keep a good ride and uh, good traction. Uh, it doesn't ex not shock the tires excessively. Uh, it allows more sophisticated uh, shock valving and all that and uh, takes advantage of uh, modern stiffer sidewall tires with the uh, stickier compounds. The A86 is a noodle, it's weak, chassis flexes a lot. Uh, an older car like ours, the seams are actually beginning to split and break. So we have to uh, address all this. And fortunately for us, uh, the guys at T3, they also realize this and they've come out with a bunch of products to uh, stiffen the chassis that um, some of them weld in, others you have to bolt in. Um, a lot of this is uh, stuff from the TRD N2 kit, or it's a modernized version of it. So TRD used to have a box of gussets and plates and all this that you had to weld into the car. Um, you know, that's been long out of production. But uh, T3 has like made reproductions of a lot of these and uh, we're going to be welding them in too. Uh, the first thing is the um, frame rail reinforcement. Now the middle frame rails of an A86 are super weak and probably every single one that you'll find nowadays that's still running or even any of the shells have these rails bashed in by people trying to uh, jack the car from them or they hit them on the ground if it's a really lowered car. And because of that, the center floor part of an 86 is always really weak. So T3 came out with these uh, bigger cross section um, taller in uh, section modulus uh, frame rails that go inside where they won't get smashed or bashed and uh, welded in. So these are on top of the factory uh, frame rails that are, are on the other side of the floor. They're probably destroyed. Uh, the floor in your car is probably kind of destroyed. So uh, we had to get a mallet, like a dead blow pound the floor back into about the stock shape and we're going to like weld these in. Uh, this will really strengthen the middle portion of the car. Uh, it'll be stronger than it was brand new from the factory. Part of the uh, H6 that gets really weak is the whole front section. Like on our car, you know, for 30 something years of flexing and being driven, it's never been crashed, but the seams are starting to like spread and come apart. Uh, they start to spread, water gets in there, corrosion starts. Fortunately, we're catching ours before the corrosion is super bad. But, um, you know, the first thing we're doing is cleaning up all the seams, pounding them back, and we're going to be uh, stitch welding the front end of the car, especially around the shock towers, the um, frame rails, and the uh, firewall, the frame rail, and, and that whole area right there. So we'll be stitch welding it, get a bunch of stiffness back, but that whole part of the car still is pretty weak because, I mean, it was designed in another era where strength wasn't really that important and everything was about lightweight. So T3 has a number of products to reinforce the area. First, uh, this is the part that'll probably make the biggest difference. It's um, a brace that goes from the door hinge bolts on the A pillar of the car. It goes the entire length of that part of the car, which is one of the strongest parts of the car. And it triangulates out and uh, bolts in right by the shock tower. And you see it's a pretty decently sized tubing with gussets in the corner. I mean, I think this brace is going to make a bigger difference than anything else we do. Um, I've used it in a number of other cars that we've built. and. You know, anything from an Evo STI to a Z32 to an R32, and these things make a huge difference on those older cars. So T3 uh, does this. Anyone with an 8.6, I recommend you get these. It's going to make a big difference, I bet. So there's one on each side. 
T3 also makes a uh, triangular strut tower brace. So you have your uh, strut tower piece that goes from tower to tower. These guys bolt in. But it also has these two pieces that go back to the firewall and triangulate. So your uh, whole shock tower in front of your car is totally triangulated. Uh, you have these two pieces on the side and this triangulated brace. I mean, this probably increases the stiffness 50% or something in this area. I don't know for sure. I'm taking a guess, but I wouldn't doubt it. Um, that's going to make a big difference. Uh, <coughs> T3 also makes these braces. Uh, they bolt to the shock towers. The shock tower brace bolts on, on the here. And uh, this part goes back to the firewall and the upper fender apron. So it ties that entire area in and boxes it in and makes it strong. You know, like these probably make a huge difference. So that whole part of the chassis that used to just be kind of hanging in space is all going to be triangulated and uh, boxed in. Uh, it's going to really stiffen the front of the car, I think, and make a big difference, uh, not only in uh, stiffness and handling, but probably safety, too. Because, you know, if you have an 8.6, if you really crash, it's going to wad like a beer can. You know, this is all behind the shock towers, so you'll still have a crush zone in the front. Then you'll have, like, a, maybe a middle stiff crush zone before the firewall. And, uh, you know, who knows, this stuff could probably save you in the good crash. Your front frame rails, especially if you're running, uh, you know, my, our car is 11, so it has the JDM bumper brackets and brace. So that's just two little brackets and the plastic bumper, and there's nothing connecting the two front frame rails. They're just hanging in space, and they can flex around. Um, you know, and that doesn't help uh, stiffness and torsion or anything. So T3 makes this cool bar. It bolts, ties the two frame rails together, and also has like a tow hook provision. So I think that's gonna make a big difference in overall stiffness and strength of the front. Uh, T3 also sells this uh, Cusco brace. Um, the area where the TC rods and the sway bar bolts on is uh, super thin and flimsy. And uh, you know, this ties in the front there and uh, you know, ties it together and gives it a bunch of stiffness. Uh, we're also, with uh, ZSM Custom, going to come out with our own brace that braces this area to the frame rail. So between this and the brace we're making, we're probably going to increase the strength of that area by 100%. And we're going to get rid of the dreaded A86 sway bar flexing not working syndrome. And the uh, 86, where the rear lower trailing arms bolt to the chassis, it's just on these tabs that uh, weld to the floor and they just hang out in space. And they're not very um, sturdy, they're just weak and they can flex around. So T3 makes these cool gussets that uh, kind of slide over the, those ears where the trailing arm um, uh, bolts to. You weld it to the ear, uh, you weld it to the floor, and then you weld it to the frame rail. So you're tying those ears into the frame rail instead of just being in thin sheet metal. It's going to really strengthen that area that's uh, really weak on the car. ZSM Custom uh, made these uh, cool gussets. Now these gussets are going to go on the frame rail, but in the frame rail the shock tower area, and they're going to kind of triangulate that, that juncture. So they're going to bring the uh, apron, shock tower, and frame rail, tie them all together. And, uh, you know, it's like just these really cheesy spot welds. But, you know, Zach at CSM is going to, like, TIG weld through all these holes to make super strong spots. Um, they're dimple dyed for stiffness, and they're designed in CAD, and they're just going to thin there all perfect and really enforce that weak but crucial area of the car. Uh, finally, we have um, the back tower brace that's also uh, doubles as a harness bar. Now you see a lot of guys with 86s, they put their shoulder harnesses in the rear uh, seat belt, lap belt holes, and uh, they put their eye bolts in there so their uh, shoulder harnesses are going down at an angle. And that's really bad for safety because when you crash, um, 
what that's going to do is like put a downward force on your shoulder and give you a compression fracture of your spine. Now, I had a compression fracture in my spine that ended my uh, racing career. So you don't want to do that. that. Those hurt like hell if they're bad enough. This enables you to have like a straight pull back from your shoulders to your harness. It's a really sturdy anchor, way stronger than a weld nut in the sheet metal floor. Um, so proper harness angle, stronger mount. It ties the two uh, back pillars of your chassis together. Helps chassis stiffness. Uh, it has these strong legs that go down to the floor. Um, so you have, uh, you know, four points of bolting in. Um, that not only makes your harness bar safer, but it also uh, really helps uh, prevent uh, what we call uh, lozenge bending in the back of the car. So that helps torsion. So that really um, improves uh, the uh, rigidity back there. Uh, we have like a kind of a cheese ball Kuzbo, Kuzco bolt-in roll cage. And I think I'm going to throw the front part away. And for now, I'm just going to run the rear part as a roll bar just to, um, you know, give us a little rollover protection and looks. I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot for protection, but it'll stiffen the chassis a little bit and give a little bit of rollover protection for now. I, I eventually, I'll probably build a proper cage for the car, but tired of working on things. I just want to get together and drive it and have some level of safety. So this is what you got to do to make your chassis stiff. This will really help your ride, help improve traction, um, help improve the car's sensitivity to suspension tuning. So you make those sway bar and shock adjustments. Uh, you're going to be able to feel them more. Uh, you know, this stuff doesn't cost very much. Uh, some of it requires some fabrication skill and welding skill, but yeah, I think it's all worth it. Um, so we're going to give this old, old, tired, flexed out dog some new life and hopefully make it better than stock. So if you like this content, uh, be sure to subscribe. Um, if you want us to work on your car or build you a motor, go to MotoIQ.com, click on the garage services uh, link and fill out the form. We'll get back to you. Uh, if you want some cool merch like jackets or t-shirts, uh, go to our web store. You can get that stuff there. Um, what else? Oh, we have a parts store, too, at our web store. Most parts that you would want to build your engine or car, you can get online there. Uh, you know, go ahead and buy your stuff. The prices are competitive. Um, you know, help us make some money so we'll fund more of this content. We're trying to make progress on this A86 as, as quickly as possible so we can spend more time driving it. Um, it's going to be thorough, but not fancy, and uh, kind of excited to drive this expensive, slow car. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, we'll probably show you some of the fabrication we did uh, to put some of this stuff in and uh, maybe touch on the brake system. Uh, maybe we'll get to some installation of stuff, too. It all depends how uh, the fabrication and everything else comes out. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.